to the Zatu the crew, Team Suzaku! We are here today to represent the structures and functions of cell at Akan State University, Banga Campus. So let's start! First things first, what is cell? Hello everyone, I am Katina Agrumbella from BSN 11 and I'm here to represent the cell. Cells are the basic building blocks of all living things. The human body is composed of billions of cells. They provide structures for the body, take in nutrients from the food, convert those nutrients into energy, and carry out specialized functions. Our university campus is a great example of the cell. Hello everyone, I'm Griselda V. De Los Santos from BSN 11. Now, let's talk about the cell membrane. The cell membrane acts as a protective layer of the cell, and it enables the transport of substances in and out of the cell. Just like this gate, which allows who and what can enter the school premises. Good day everyone! I am Nicola de la Carbonell and I'm representing PU the Nucleus. Nucleus acts as the command center of the cell. As you can see, we are here at our campus president's office. The president acts as someone that decides the entire school happening. Before anything, the president first approves or disapproves in order for the university to conduct an event. Hi everyone, my name is Herbia Nicoji Vasarache from BSN11 and I'm going to talk about the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm functions to support and provide a platform upon which other organelles can operate within it just like our campus school grounds. As you can see, it provides a platform and it houses all the organelles. Good day everyone, I am Jan Andre Arbertes from USN11 and I am a representation of mitochondria. Mitochondria is referred as the powerhouses of the cell. They help the energy we take from food into the energy that our cells need. But they are more referred as a mitochondria as an energy production, just like this power switch. This power switch representation has a mitochondria because it stores the electricity all here in the campus and stores the electricity from the main switch and produces it into the classrooms just like our cells that needs. Hello, I'm Christina Rincinares from BSN11 and I will talk about the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is structured like a network of continuous sacs that serves as passageway for the proteins which is created by the ribosomes just like this hallway which leads us to the different classrooms. Hi everyone, my name is Kiana. I'm from BSN 11. And now let's talk about Golgi body. So what is Golgi body? Golgi body is the process and packaging materials of the cell. It is also responsible for transporting, modifying, and packaging proteins and lipids into vesicles for delivery to its target destination. Just like our classroom, it is where we learn and our knowledge increases. What's up guys? My name is Dean from BSN11 and I'm here to introduce to you what are ribosomes. So what are ribosomes? A ribosome is a complex molecular machine that is found inside living cells. Uh, they produce proteins during from amino acids during a process called protein synthesis. So like ribosomes, our school employees and instructors are assembled by the principal aka the nucleus of the school they produce knowledge for students to learn, like proteins. Ribosomes help produce important proteins for a cell and our instructors and teachers produce educated people. Good morning everyone, I am Jairo Gacy Anthony from BSN11 and here we are today to present to you the lysosomes. Lysosomes collect cell waste and damage or worn out parts of the cell, just like our jelly press, they maintain the cleanliness of our campus. Good day everyone! I am Kyla Lyson Stanislaw from BSN11. And today, I am going to talk about vacuum. Vacuum is defined as a storage of food and excess waste. Just like our school canteen where we buy our food in order for us to function properly. They also collect the excess food that we ate from our plates. Just like in plant cell, vacuums provide plants with structural support during rapid growth. We needed food for us to grow. That's why our school canteen starts food to provide energy for the school students, teachers, faculty, and staff. 